name is Jake Long, and I'm the American Dragon. Only, this is the week I wasn't. It's kind of a long story. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Guys, I'm over the target. Trixie, you copy? You ready to rock and roll, Spud? It's cool. It's hot. Like the frozen air. Oh, sorry. Okay, I've tapped into the 30-second street traffic signal, which will be turning red right about now. Huh? <laughs> hey, look, guys. I'm making the cowboy do a hoedown. Spud! Right. Marf up your seat. Nice work. You guys sure you're down? This mission could get dangerous. Boy, hey! Me and Spud will use these hooks to repel down. It's official. I've become Spud. Come on! If we're gonna intercept this stuff, it's now or never. They're more beautiful than a school of mermaids. More valuable than leprechaun gold. And they're ours. Sneak peek at the new yearbooks. <laughs> he's cool, he's hot, like a frozen sun. He's young and fast, he's the chosen one. People were not bragging. He's the American dragon. To Jake's Dragonosity, we got our yearbook seven whole hours before everyone else. Oh, advanced yearbook copy. How I love your look, your touch, your smell. Okay, ew, not your smell. Ugh, stupid yearbook. What's up, baby Jakey? You guys notice anything odd as you were flipping through our middle school memories? Otters and Mrs. Merker's mustache seems to have been mysteriously airbrushed out. Odd, as in there are no memories of me. I'm nowhere in here. So why weren't you around? I mean, where were you on class picture day? Yeah, on class ditch day. And the eighth grade midnight mass raid. Let's see. Saving the city from the huntsmen, saving the city from a gang of hobgoblins, and saving the city from an evil wizard with bad sleeping habits. <sighs> Guys, middle school's over in four days, and thanks to dragon business, I've totally missed out. Chin up, bro. Come on. Things have mellowed on the magical front, right? I mean, as long as they stay that way, you'll still be able to partake of the yearbook signings, the karaoke event. Caroline St. Carmine's make fun of Rockwood Party. Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, starting right now, I'm going to juice every minute of middle school for all its... Jake, come to grab a shot. There is a critical dragon emergency. Worth. Gramps, what's the emergency? It was only a test. Wow, Jake's response time was over 12 minutes. I composed my first symphony in just under nine. Hey, want to hear it? Dragon business may be slow, young one, but that is no excuse for laziness. Especially since Food Dog and I are leaving tonight for our Dragon Council retreat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me, the old man, and a bunch of stiffs talking dragon politics for three days. Somebody passed the limbo stick. No, really. Pass it to me. I want to whack myself senseless with it. Jake, 
While your grandfather's away, you'll be training with me and Haley. Won't that be groovy? You shall spend the week with Sun and Haley, reviewing 2,000 years of Dragon Council bylaws. Aw, oh, come on, G. It's the last week of middle school. Graduation's on Friday. Can't I just get a few days to hang on my peeps and, you know, chill? Young Dragon, your magical responsibilities must not be overshadowed by chilling and hanging with peeps. You don't see Foo Dog trying to get out of his magical dude. Foo Dog! Hands off the limbo stick! You take all the fun. You know that. Sorry I'm late, Coach. I overslept and... Uh, did I miss something? Only my hilarious scheme, which resulted in Stacy being my graduation partner. Hilarious! Hey, Kyle picked me to walk down the graduation aisle with him. Coward. <laughs> Have I been too day? It's fine! Like lemon lime in the summertime. Wait, we get to pick graduation partners? Yeah, well, uh, Ratwood made the announcement this morning, so we all picked. And you kind of just missed it. What? No fair! I was up late dragon training and I overslept and... And... And did somebody pick Danica Honeycutt? Because I was kind of hoping that... Sorry, Jakey, but all the girls have already been spoken for. Well, not every girl. Jake, <laughs> meet Recessa Patty, the school CPR training dummy. Okay, I know she's not much to look at, but she cleans up real nice. I can't take it anymore! The never-ending dragon training, the complete lack of a social life, and now my only possible graduation partner is a stupid CPR dummy? Words hurt, Jake. Plug your ear holes, Recessicans. Guys, I need a break from being the Amdrag. Not forever, not even a month. Just a week. Is that so much to ask? Oh, sorry, Jakey. But I'm guessing the job of American Dragon didn't exactly come with vacation days. Maybe not, but there's gotta be something I can do to catch a break. Attention fellow Filmorians! Thanks to the fine folks at Murray's Gag Shop, the Bradster's fourth annual end of eighth grade prank is about to splat into action! It looks like an ordinary deserted treat on the outside, but when Rockwood cuts into it, and as long as you little potty squatters keep your traps shut, you'll never find out it's me. So brass suspended. You call the whole class potty squatters, someone's bound to rat. Poor Rotwood. Who knew Kate could do that to a man's face? You know, I never understood the whole suspension thing. You do something bad and your punishment is that you don't have to go to school for a week? Yeah, it really doesn't make... Hold up. I just figured out how to get my normal life back. Spud, you're a genius. I found it. Section 8, subsection 14, paragraph B. Behavior deemed irresponsible by the Dragon Council shall result in the immediate suspension of all dragon powers and responsibilities for the duration of one week. Wait. You're not considering... I'm calling Grandpa! And pass up being the American Dragon for a week? I don't! Pass drag a what now? You do know that you're next in line if I'm deemed unfit to perform my amp drag duties, right? M m me As in, American Dragon, Haley Mom? I'm gonna stop my enemies with my dragon power! Dragon teeth, dragon tail, burning dragon fire! A real? American Dragon American Dragon So late on me, Jake. How are we getting you suspended? Thanks, Hales. But I got it covered. Look, counselors, how thoughtful. The American Dragon sent us a cake. Who'd like a slice? Look, really, I'm sorry about the cake accident. I thought it'd be a nice gesture, but I must have put in... I don't know. Too much baking soda? Hey, yeah. Poor Counselor Kakulkin. I've never seen Cake do that to a man's face. Per the Dragon Council bylaws, we have no choice but to officially suspend you from the Dragon Order for the period of one week. I am sorry.
the next seven days, Haley Long will step up as the new American Dragon. Wow. I'm actually human. This is gonna be awesome. That, my friend, is the only word to describe the power of what we are about to unleash upon the world. Right. Do you know what word is more awesome than awesome? Bangers! <laughs> or we just could stick with it. awesome. Once our spell is complete, all humankind shall bow before their new masters, and no one, not even the American Dragon, will stop us. <laughs> awesome! Yeah, just hasn't got the same ring. Here you go, Haley. Your new American Dragon training schedule. A cell phone, so I can alert you when there's a magical emergency. And this is Madge, the motivational unicorn. For when things get stressful. You're special! Oh, son. I'm Haley, the new and improved American dragon. I grind up stress for breakfast and sprinkle it on my oatmeal. Unlike Jake, I will not be letting anyone down. Gramps. I'm really sorry I let you down. I just don't understand how this could have happened. Bad recipe, I guess. But trust me, I'm gonna spend these next few days as a powerless human reflecting on the carelessness of my actions. <laughs> my name is Principal Crosswood, and I believe in pixies and berries, and I dance mean chocolate. Poo de hoo de hee de hee de hoo de hoo de hoo Make fun of Rotwood party ever! Oh, oh that's great! Six Rotwood impression rocks! <laughs> oh, Haley, that was perfect! Now I just need you to do the same thing perfectly 199 more times. Yo, East Coast, there's a party over here! Got some kicks on my feet and some rhymes in my ear! What? What? But Miss Birch, I've never been tardy my whole life. I was up late last night with my dragon. I mean, gagging problems. Because I ate some rotten tacos. <laughs> Son, are you sure this qualifies as a magical emergency? I mean, if that annoying troll woman was careless enough to flush her wedding ring down the drain, shouldn't she be the one down here looking for it? <sighs> oh, Jay! Great impression of Rotwood the other day! You're so funny! Hey, man, let's hang later, okay? Seriously, I don't know how this week can get any better. <clears throat> uh, but hey, Danica. I, uh... I haven't seen you around much since... Since we went out and you freaked out? Yeah. Did I mention I was sorry? About 263 times. For what it's worth, I started forgiving you somewhere in the 240s. I, uh, need to go talk to Rotwood. Since Brad got suspended, I'm kind of graduation partnerless. What? Me too! Why don't we... Well, you know... Go together. You and me? Uh, I don't know. Listen, I had a lot of stuff going on back when we were hanging out. But all that's behind me now. Come on, you and me, one night, no flakiness. What do you say? Well, considering that my choices are between you and Recessa Billy, I'd have to say you're definitely the better option. So it's a date? A date it is. <laughs> You know, little man, it's almost like graduation's got some kind of cosmic calming effect on you. I have never seen you so relaxed. Whew. Haley, on the other hand. You're special! You're special! You're special! Honey, are you okay? We had a test at school today. I didn't have time to study and I... <laughs> Fail! There, I said it! What's wrong? Can't handle the pressures of being the Amdrag? What? No! Just a minor adjustment, period. I'll be fine. Really, I... Hello? Haley, Chang is on the move. I need you to meet me at Megas Bazaar immediately. What? Uh, sure thing, old man with...
with our spoon? I'll pick up some of that bunion cream and I'll be over lickety split. <laughs> My, um, adopt a senior. Now wait up. Now that's what I call an entrance. Quickly, my pet. Find me Hydra scales and a phoenix feather, and our spell will be nearly complete. And while you're at it, how about I impede your forward progress instantly? <laughs> Good one, Haley. We really need to work on your entrance lines. <laughs> so... Jake Long sent little sis and her dragon master to do his dirty work. In contrast, defeating you both won't be work at all. Come on, come on. Oh, bangers! Hydra scales and a phoenix feather, oh, I got it! Oh no, you don't, Simeon! Ah! <laughs> Essence of troll, eh? Let's see what this does. <laughs> Yo, Tangy Tang, we scored the goods. Let's blow this crib. <laughs> The important thing is that you are both okay. Okay? You call this okay? Not only did I let Chang get away, I've got a troll face! Ah, oh, come on, Haley. You look cute. I mean, you know, you look precious. <laughs> uh, oh, we kidding? Your face looks like your neck threw up. On the plus side, Essence a troll usually wears off in a couple of... Oh, boy. Hey, son. What ingredients did you say Chang escaped with? Hydra scales and a phoenix feather. Why? Well, according to this journal, those two things are the key ingredients in the spell that will bring the dark dragon back to power. And with the drop of a phoenix feather, the dragon of darkness shall rise from the ashes. I know that spell, but for it to be complete, she'll need something else. The chi of the American dragon. It says here a drop of blood would work too, but... She really avoids the ick factor. But why didn't she come after me when she had the chance? Well, because as far as she knows, kid, the American dragon isn't you. It's... Jake! Hey, they uh, handed out caps and gowns early, so I picked yours up for you. I hope that's all right. Uh, yeah. Hard to believe we're graduating tonight, huh? Yeah, it's kind of sad. But at the same time, it's nice to finally close that chapter and move on to something new. Know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. See you in a couple hours? Wouldn't miss it for the world. Tisk tisk, Mr. Long. Hasn't anyone taught you it's rude to make promises you can't keep? King? Dragon? Aw, oh, man! <laughs> According to your mother, Jake should have been home hours ago. We found his backpack on the sidewalk. Chang must have already gotten to him. This is all my fault. I had the chance to stop him from pulling that prank on the council, and now... Oh, look! Azaleas are in bloom! Prank! Jake ditched his American dragon duties on purpose? A young ho sang hour of all the immature self-serving... Hey! Either of you were the American Dragon. Well, as the little troll girl currently filling the position, let me tell you, it's stinking hard. I can't imagine doing it two more days, let alone two more years. And the thing about everything Jake's gone through, he's had to save magical creatures on a daily basis, lie to his own dad about who he is, say goodbye to the girl he loved, all to protect a mystical world that nobody knows about. He may be the American Dragon, but he's also a 14-year-old kid who just wanted a couple days off. If that makes him immature, fine. But self-serving? With all due respect to both of you, step off! <laughs> I crossed the line with that step off part, didn't I? Son, you and Haley track down Chang and rescue Jake. But, Lao Shi, what about you? 
I have something to take care of. Yo, Ching! Nothing personal, but I kind of got someplace to be. So, if you don't mind, science! These chains are reinforced with Sphinx hair, rendering you powerless. In the meantime, the chi of the American dragon is mine. Yo, Chang to Chang! Say their magic words. And with the drop of a phoenix feather, the dragon of darkness shall rise from the ashes! Okay, not a bad show, but the ending's not really living up to the hype. Can I go now? Silence! Why didn't this spell work? Wait, Jake's chi should have taken dragon form. What are you saying then? He's not a dragon, cause that would mean... That you answer to me, you heard? Haley! Ugh. What happened to your face? Never mind. Cover me for a sec. It's what I did. Hi! Yo, Jakey, where are you? Graduation's about to start, and Danica's been asking about you. Running a little late. But hey, it's what I do. You and Spud cool to cover for you? Hey, baby, it's what we do. Ew! Stop the music. Give a warm welcome to Arthur Spudinsky and his, um... Comedy stylings! Well, I, 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 uh... Oh. Hey, uh... <laughs> Son Park, I thought you were all about peace and love. And what I really love is to give you a piece of this! <laughs> So, I'm thinking Jake Long is no longer the American Dragon. And since little sister is next in line, that would mean you've got something I want. Leave her alone, Ching! Pathetic <laughs> human! Who are you to tell me what to do? His name is Jake Long, and he is the American Dragon! <laughs> graduation gift from the Dragon Council. You've earned it. How very touching. Unfortunately, that chain is mine. No worries, Chang. I'll save you. Not today, monkey. Out of my way, you fuzzy togo. Dragon kind of rocks. Oh, and speaking of rocks, what? As I've said before, and will surely say many times to come, well done, young dragon. Gramps, listen. There's something I need to tell you. About the cake accident, I... It wasn't an accident. I know. And as a punishment, I'm cutting your dragon training in half this summer. Listen, I totally under... What, what now? Jake, I train you hard because I know the enemies you have to face. But at the same time, you're only 14 years old. You deserve some time to chill and hang with your peeps. And there's no reason why Haley can't fill in from time to time. She did a great job this week. I did? You most certainly did. But a quick piece of advice, stay away from Essence of Troll. Come, young dragon. We have a graduation to attend. So there you have it. The week I wasn't the American dragon. That night at graduation, I got to thinking. Being human was a wake-up call. Sure, there have been some tough times, but having magical powers has kind of rocked. 
end, not just in a saving the people I care about kind of way, but in a cool everyday kind of way too. I mean, don't get me wrong. Having a secret double life is always going to be a balancing act. But with the help of my friends and family, Way to go, Jakers! I know I can totally face anything life throws at me. Today we all got to hear Jake's deepest, most personal thoughts thanks to an ingenious little device called VoiceOver. So, I was thinking, why not use VoiceOver to let you, the viewer, hear my deepest, most personal thoughts? Huh? Huh? <clears throat> okay, here goes. Wait, there's more. And then my piece de resistance. What do you expect, Socrates? I'm a dog for crying out sakes. <laughs>